What's up, everybody? I'm Alvy13, and I want to take a little video here to talk about reviewing DMZ uh, Season 4. And I think that the biggest thing that I could say is that Vondel was, like, a really good thing. Good addition. And it really works with DMZ. It's very interesting because it feels really unique and different. Um, and they even brought in a new contract, which is fantastic, in my opinion. Um, we have the new guns, which spices things up. And, uh, I want to say that hindering the good things, the bug fixes... The fine tuning, you know, obviously, uh, great stuff in the battle pass, like the ghillie suit guy. Um, look at we can quickly flip the coin over because look, DMZ rewards have been kind of sad. Uh, let's take a look at what's supposed to be the rewards. I have one mission left that is going to give me one more skin, but. If we look at the rewards here in Warzone, because I can't change my operators, I can go to operators here. Um, we had the Koenig Payback is a bitch. Praetorian here. This is the one that is just, people say, copy and paste. What a waste. I mean, this skin is like the same except for the, um, like the rose gold accents. I mean, you go, come up here to the regular guy. I mean, it's this is... I mean, it's stealthier. I like the black accents. I like the rose gold, but I don't like that they made the pants... Well, the pants are tan instead of green. Okay. That's actually kind of cool. Actually, the two variations. But that the problem is, this shouldn't be a reward for the end of DMC. It's a cool skin that, to me, feels like a, a tier 3 reward. In the middle of your missions. And um, we have another one which they finally took it that far from Sleet to Snowplow, which is a very cool, very, very cool skin. What's the problem here? There's no snow map. DMZ has no snow. I don't care if they're saying a snow map is coming to us tomorrow, okay? Down the, whatever, the next season or whatever. I mean, this is a really great skin, but it stands out like a sore thumb because we're not in the freaking snow! Right? So, that one is a cool reward. Totally wrong timing. Um, I mean, yes. They did a good job on that one as a final reward. Um, I'm not a huge fan of the red tint, but I, you see it in movies, you know, and it gives it a little bit of aggression and it balances it out a little bit, but I don't know. We'll see about that. And then the other one, which is again, copy and How's paste because you have macro burst already, which was like, wow, they gave us almost everything, right? I want the pants black instead of gray, but I can live with that. Then they did a really cool thing with the jacket here and did this dark gray, black camo and they did the pants right, but I, this is basically the same skin that we already had at Macroburst, right? They changed the hat color, right? So, of course people are going to be disappointed. And I do like the blue accent, but that's like so, such a minute, small detail. Okay, so rewards. That takes a little bit of wind out. The last reward, I think, is Nova. Uh, isn't it Nova? Or am I off base on that? I don't know. I don't see it in here. So. And. You know. We got the guy through the event. But that's not DMZ. Because I'm focused on DMZ. So. Um, I'm just going to jump into the missions. Um, I'm satisfied with the new missions that they added. Uh, but I do see two shortcomings. And so I want to. Again. I'm I have to kind of start at the good stuff. Right. We got the rep system. Everybody's taken well for that, except for the fact that it was a major bug on the progression. We didn't like that at all, and it actually 
was made life hell for us a little bit. But they did a good job on the rep system. They added urgent missions, which has spiced things up every day. We get a special mission. It's random for all of us, which mixes and matches. Uh, we are seeing similar missions repeated and things like that. Um, some people you know, weren't happy that some of them gave you zero rep and only XP, but all most of the ones I've had have been rep, and maybe they changed that, you know, on the fly. Don't know, because people, I mean, they obviously want progression. So, uh, once you get to level 22, um, you know, 100 rep is nothing compared to 24, 2,400 that you get for doing a mission, right? So, uh, they finally, that, that 100 rep, I think it works to, to boost and bolster, um, but at the very tail end of it, it's not enough. Um, uh, and it's almost like, I mean, what, you know, what can you do? Nothing. It just is how the system is. Um, but it definitely, I, I could see how people might like that because it, it, you know, obviously a, the mission changes. If you don't, if, 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 if you, you know, if you get bored of it or whatever, you just do another mission, you know, uh, do a different one. Right that kind of thing but but the missions themselves we saw a lot of recycling bad uh because i gotta stick to the bad stuff because the problem is i'm pushing pause on dmz right because we're seeing the same missions and you know they change a couple details yes they went in the right direction by making a couple of critical issue missions a little bit tiny bit easier just so that everybody gets done with them can do them we didn't want the stalling like happened in previous seasons where people got fed up with missions. They had them on there and then they just went to PvP and they, they I think without missions, people are very lost and they dive into PvP and it gets really bad. Uh, it's not as fun when everybody's hunting at all times, which they're addressing because I just saw the news in season four, not to get off track, but reloaded. They are saying that if you hunt players, the hunt contract is going to go on you. And there's been a bit of that, but they're saying that they're trying to remedy the overhunting in PvP. So that's what's coming down the the, the, the pipeline. Uh, we're going to get the patch notes or whatever coming. It's a two-day thing. So tomorrow we'll have more info and then the next day all that release, right? So, but sticking to here, I want to go ahead and open, unwrap, unscroll... The problems that I have with DMZ, which is bugs, right? Because they fix some stuff, cool. But I have a laundry list of issues that this game has, right? And so we've had some of these bugs since the beginning of Day Z, season one, season two, season three, right? Durable gas mask converting to regular. My gun disappears when I load into a game. Oh my god! We cannot tell you not only how annoying it is when our gun is taken away from us when we load into a game, but it possibly hinders and damages our ability to get things done, do missions, enjoy our time with our friends, and literally protect yourself from enemies when you need protection. The only thing that's out there really is your gun and your guns and your loadout, right? So not only that, but it's been mentioned that attachments disappear, and change and stuff like that of course it's not that's not right should never happen progression missions don't work when you do them oh my god and i will just throw in immediately here the whole situation so they've done a lot of detective work the dmz community when you go in with more than three people on any xfil helicopter the backpacks are thrown out. Only three random backpacks in the x helicopter count toward mission items. Whether it's for upgrades or your missions. This is a critical bug that's still in the game right now. And with the way that teaming and assimilation and six mans has become better because of the way that they made changes to... there's It's more popular. It's happening more often because of the changes that they made to the pickup system that is the reviving that is the um what do they call it when you you know pick somebody up on the other team can't think of it right now anyway um that's what's going on that 
everybody's doing critical missions and they're all excited and they're all happy that they didn't die they played a 45 minute game they made it to the x fill chopper everybody's patting each other on the back showing off their weapons and throwing grenades and and just shooting out the window in the back and and they're like oh but oh we forgot that the backpack issue is there and by the way sometimes you're forced to take a helicopter for various reasons okay so yeah that's a big problem that needs to be fixed my personal hell issue has been that if i use the spotter scope i think it's the thermal that triggers it my game will crash it in down in that game so i can start the game you know spot some enemies with the spotter scope and then be playing the game before my game finishes my game will lock up freeze crash i will lose all my gear and i get kicked out of the game and i cannot come back so i'm having that issue with amd uh graphics card and i know that others are having that issue i've submitted all the reports when the issue happens and we're waiting for the fix because as far as i know it still hasn't been fixed why the hell do armor boxes and munitions boxes get stuck in the ground they get stuck on the train ground they get stuck in walls what the hell is happening can they not supply us properly I, you do all this careful attention to where the box is going so you don't accidentally not get your stuff. And it's critical. Game changing. Why are you in the x helicopter and then somebody gets randomly downed? Like a reinforcement helicopter flew through us. Can they not detect that when you're on the x helicopter? Do something about it. Sometimes you can't move. Sometimes you can't go forward. Sometimes you can't turn. And your mouse isn't working, but you can walk with your keyboard. What the hell is going on? That's a huge bug that's in the game. It just happened the other day to my friend. And it's just wrong. So I hope that, that, that they fix that stuff. And it really makes me not want to play the game. Hey, spoiler. Pings don't work sometimes. Oh my god. Yesterday? Doesn't matter what I did. I couldn't ping. I would ping and it would say ping, but it, there would be nothing on the mini map, on the, uh, sorry, TAC map. There was nothing to see. Pings just disappearing. Pings, you get a ping and it goes away. Hey, Spoiler, are you doing okay? Okay. So, you, you, t you know, inevitably you get on a six man, you see five man, right? And, and you're like, wait, I thought we had six. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Yes, comedy hour, right? Call of Duty's a joke! So, anyway. This... Yes, 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 perfect for Call of Duty. So, look. Yes, it's like that. Okay. So, the sixth man becomes invisible. The what, the, the, you don't even, not only does the white icon not stand out. Okay, cut it down, cut it down. The, 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 white, the white icon doesn't stand out, but they just sometimes are invisible. And then like, oh, do you have a three plate? Yes, I do. But it shows that you have a two. The gear stuff is not showing right. Like just stupid stuff like that, right? And that's even happening on a regular three man team. Wrong icons over bosses. Wrong icons over allies. Just ridiculous stuff. The freaking icon the for met rehealing somebody is so freaking huge that you can't see anything. You know, I, there's just more stuff on here. Bartering for the medic vest didn't work, despite it said that you have it unlocked. The bug missions, we could talk about that all day. Um, dying with a secure backpack causes you to lose the contents of the bag. It does not preserve the items. Like, the purpose of the bag was to keep your items when you die, and it doesn't do its job. And we were never notified that this is a problem. And so, anyway. The final thing is that they add new content. Yes, they surely do. But it's buggy. It has glitches. Every time they keep, they fix stuff, but they keep adding new stuff that's buggy and gl has glitches. So, it's not the greatest experience. You don't have confidence. So... I think I want to say that I want to witness and experience the unique, cool things that might happen in DMZ, you know, Season 5 and beyond. But 
Uh, I don't think that I'm going to be running through the gauntlets like I have um, before, um, especially when it comes to missions. I want to do the mission. You know, there might be rewards that I want, and I'm going to have to make a determination if I'm going to be willing to go after those rewards. But I think they need to get their act together, and I, I, I really want... I've been enjoying DMZ, and I, I want it to be the best that it can be, but it's got a lot of problems, and, and that's my take on it. Hit like, comment, subscribe. See you in the future.